Hello everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Hi, hello, welcome to another weekend vlog. It is so cold outside, but I'm about to venture out into this icy, frigid landscape we have. And we're not even the coldest in, Ma in, in Canada right now, which is surprising because I live in Manitoba. And if you guys know anything about Manitoba, is that we have a reputation for winter. <laughs> but we're not getting the coldest of the cold right now. My friend texted us this morning who lives in Saskatchewan and <laughs> she just sent us a screenshot of her weather app. Minus 53, it feels like, Celsius. Which like, we've only really reached that once and it was over Christmas a number of years ago. And all of us were like, this tracks. We're colder than the surface of Mars right now. <laughs> like, but we are in the minus 30s right now with the wind chill. So I'm about to venture out to two places. One, the library, because I have a bunch of books that are ready for me to get my hands on. I'm a little worried that I won't be able to actually take anything out because this bad boy was due yesterday <laughs> and I haven't finished it yet. I'm gonna take it with me just in case I have to return it to be able to actually do anything else. But that's gonna make me so sad because I'm not done it, but I have it on audio. So I'll just keep listening to it on audio if I don't have it physically. But if I can get away with just like taking out more books, even though that one is overdue, I will do it. It's fine. <laughs> This is what my thought process is. So I have a big stack of books that are waiting for me at the library right now. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna be reading this weekend is The Mask of Mirrors by Emma Carrick. I wanted to try and finish it last night, but I got sucked down Doctor Who again, <laughs> which is totally fine because I ended up getting an order of, I'm gonna have to put you somewhere else. I get getting my order of scrapbooking photos ready for me at Staples, which was surprising. It happened so quickly. So last night I spent <laughs> hours cutting out all of the photos. For example here, like I have a bunch of different photos. There's me, there's my friends, there's me again. Oh, me again, oh my God. <laughs> and then like the different like launches that I had for my books. And then I have my book covers in different stages, like the sketch stages and then the final stages that I was gonna do a spread with. Very exciting, very fun. I think I'm going to actually film me doing this specific spread at some point, but yeah, I spent so long doing that. <laughs> Cutting out nine pages of photos and watching Doctor Who at the same time. It was a great Friday evening. <laughs> and I also went to Michael's yesterday because I got the wherewithal to leave my place, which is surprising because <laughs> Thursday I felt so unwell, just like whole body, achy, breaky, awful. So I just was like, well, I guess this weekend's gonna be a write off. Then yesterday I had my piano lesson, of course, so I had to go out for that. But instead of just coming right back home, I went to Staples and picked up my photo order. And then I was like, what if I go to, what if I, what if I go to Michael's? So I did. <laughs> and I got this big old like case to like put my journaling stuff in, which was really smart of me because Otherwise it was just hanging out willy nilly around my place. But I got two packs of fun pattern paper, which I'm very excited about because I needed some anyways. And I'm so in love with this set. It's just stunning. And then I got a little bit of a lighter set. And we'll sample of those patterns there. I think will be great. And then of course I went and looked at the stickers and <laughs> spent too much money on the sticker place. But I got this shine bright pack, which has just fun, amazing, hold on, let me do that again. Just has really fun, like, space stickers, which I love. And I have this sticker, like I have this kind of sticker pack that I've been using for my journaling so far, and I'm very in love with it. But yeah, Michael's, I also got this spring set. I was gonna get the winter set, but that was like three sticker packs at $14.99 a piece. Couldn't really justify Free. So I just got the spring one, which is so super cute. So we have this whole cover and like genuinely, like it doesn't feel like super springy. Like it feels really springy to me, but it doesn't like just feel like spring, the stickers in here. So I was very happy about that. And that'll work really well for both my book journal and for my scrapbooking journal. And then I got more like gold ones because the one page in my other scrapbooking sticker journal, sticker page thing that has a bunch of gold, like leafy flowery patterns. I have used almost all of them because they're my favorite stickers in that pack. So I got a, a pack of like little gold shimmery shiny ones because I know I'm gonna use them. Really excited about this haul and I'm excited to dive into the world of scrapbooking and journaling a little deeper. And now I actually have like a lot of like pattern stuff and 
fun paper things and stickers that I can do it with. But yes, I'm also, I think, going to film today when I get back home a scrapbook with me like to like do my first spread in here as like an extra video when that's going up I don't know but I think I might do that and it just might be one spread because I want to do a like however long it takes me to do film with me so like no sped up just hanging out just chatting kind of like ASMR vibes which is very different from what I usually do but yeah so <laughs> Here's also, I want to do like an update of my reading journal for you. Also, I just wanted to do like an update to like show you where I'm at. So like this is what this pixel tracker is looking like as I'm filling it in. Only a few days this year so far, I haven't read. So yay for me. <laughs> this is what the shelf is looking like. Look at that. Two four and a half stars. We have yet to find a five star, but these two four and a half star ones were so fucking good. Those are the books. <laughs> books DNF'd, haven't DNF'd anything all the ratings. Books hauled. So from last weekend, I did just all of the last names of the authors and stuff. Um, and I'm still waiting for part of my indigo order, the Roan Horse, Shamas, the Penner, and the Jones side, because I did get, where is she? Right here, these burning stars. We added her to the shelves. I'm very excited about it. Added, <laughs> added in. These are the releases. I am so fucking excited for Pillar of Ash. It comes out on Tuesday. I just, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Anyways. <laughs> uh, and I'm also doing pretty good on my ABC challenge, which is very exciting. I did Will of the Many for W, Shanghai Immortal for S, and Exit Strategy for E. I haven't done any of these yet, but that's okay. I also have a big page in my computer on Canva of like little thumbnail covers that I really want to get printed out. So I'm going to ask my dad if his printer does color because I can't remember if his if his printer at home does color. If it does, fantastic. I will get these printed like Sunday when I go over for dinner. But anyways, <laughs> and also we had our first dot because I read the fourth murder bot book. Love that. I'm very excited. This is what this one's looking like. And then we have the actual pages. You've seen these two before. The Will of the Many I did last weekend and absolutely love this spread. And then this is the We Need New Stories. This is the one nonfiction that I read. I don't rate my nonfictions, but like this one was just okay for me. I kind of like how this turned out. And then we did The Surviving Sky by Critica Rao, which I am so proud of this spread because of the lightning, because the cover has lightning on it. And I found this in one of the National Geographics. And it was the perfect colors I love. Anyways, yes. So that is the reading journal update. I also did a page in... My scrapbooking journal the other day so I have like the cover page here but this is a little awkward angle but I ended up doing this because I was bored and I really wanted to do more scrapbooking and I didn't have my photos at the time so I did this I found this absolutely beautiful fairy portrait in one of the National Geographic's and then I cut out a lot of the words in that article that I added in for funsies and I think it's a really fun beautiful spread it was giving me so much grief and I just kept going. I just kept adding things and moving things around and like laying things out before I glued them down and it took me hours, but I'm really happy with it. So <laughs> I'm excited to get scrapbooking with everything else. I've kind of planned a bunch of the spreads out, sort of with like bundles of, of photos in each one. So that's exciting, but who knows what I'm gonna end up doing. Oh no, I can't close it because all the photos have fallen into the crease. Oh well, we'll just leave it open like that. I don't know what I'm gonna be reading other than Mask of Mirrors. I should probably start on my Foundry side reading because that was next in my brain. So I have this and I also have the second one stacked over here from the library. And then I have the third one ready from the library today. So these are the library books. I should probably start my Foundry side journey for series series number six because that was next on the docket. But anyways, I'm gonna go to the library. You're gonna come with. Then I gotta go to Walmart. <laughs> that was the other one. I don't think I ever mentioned that. I said I had two places to go. One was the library. The other one was Walmart because I need to get some products. I'm officially out of condition which is not a good thing <laughs> so I need to go get some products and maybe some snacks let's do it it's the start of a weekend welcome I'm so glad you're here and let's see what this weekend gets up to
<laughs> Hello friends, I'm back home. It is so cold. My poor face. <laughs> I didn't even walk that far. It was just from my car to my place. I am burning. Oh. Anyways, I'm back. I got my books from the old library, which <laughs> the stack that was waiting for me in the holds was like in its own area because the books are so thick and I didn't realize they were this thick. So it's fun. First up, <laughs> we have Far Sector by N.K. Jemisin, which is a graphic novel that is by one of my favorite authors of all time, as you guys know. So I'm so excited to read this, truly. I've heard only good things about it and really recently only good things about it on TikTok and stuff. Blocklands, which is book three for Foundry Side. Got it locked and loaded, haha, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> I also got my hold for Dowry of Blood. Didn't realize I didn't suspend it long enough, but now we have it, so I should read it. <laughs> and then these two, <laughs> which are so fucking big. So we have books two and three of James Islington, Islington, I don't know how to pronounce his name, of the Lycanus trilogy which book one, I also have on hold. It just hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> so I have books two and three. Will I read them all? I don't know, but I have the hankering just to go through a bunch of trilogies all at once. So we got Foundry Side, which is gonna be so fun. And then I wanna try read this. And also the Mask, the, the Rook and the Rose, which is the Mask of Mirrors trilogy, if I like the rest of the book. Because currently I've been coasting through the Mask of Mirrors without many feelings. <laughs> there is truly so much happening in that book and so little plot, which is very interesting to me because I know it's the beginning and people say it's a slower paced fantasy, which is fine by me. So I knew going in, it wasn't gonna be like super busy or anything or intense or whatever, but I was expecting a little bit of plot. Like there isn't really like a hook at the beginning. It just kind of is. <laughs> and there really isn't like a through plot line. There's just so much going on politically and personally and with our main characters and all this kind of stuff. But there isn't like a strong, like this is what this story is trying to do. I was just kind of coasting, no feelings until we hit the midpoint. And then the midpoint was like, get ready for an acid trip fever dream. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> so I'm just past the midpoint now and I really wanna finish that book. I think I have three, maybe four hours left of the audiobook, So I'm gonna finish that today at some point, hopefully. But we'll see how the ending goes and we'll see if it makes me wanna read the second one because I'll leave it up to that to actually continue with this series or not. Uh, because I've only heard good things about this trilogy online and people seem to really, really like it. So I don't yet, <laughs> but it remains to be seen. Anyways, I also got this in the mail today, which is a sticker order from Little Inklings Design, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> yes, I have bought too many things online for journaling, my friends. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful card? I love getting like thank you cards from businesses makes me so happy. Got all the stickers in there. And we got a bookmark too. Ah, I forgot I ordered this bookmark, but it's so pretty. I want to be better at using my bookmarks. So I have a bunch in here, <laughs> ready to go, ready and waiting. Beautiful. I got this University of Alberta mug at the thrift store and I used it like three times before I realized that my tea was leaking out of it because there's a big crack in it on the inside that I didn't notice. So this beautiful yellow mug has been retired to be a bookmark holder, which is fine, <laughs> but that stays on my shelves. But yeah, I'm look I'm so excited about these little stickers. We'll see if I can use them for anything. These were like very bookish stickers. So we have this one, which I don't know if you can see very well, but it's got like very lightly written, like all the different genres. So it's a genre sticker. Classics, thriller, contemporary, historical fiction, nonfiction, fantasy, mystery, and romance all on it, which we love. And then this says, read books, be happy, which we love. I'm really shaky right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. In my bookish era, which I thought was adorable. And it's this, I got it in the yellow version because I'm gonna use it on here, which I think it works perfectly. Oh, just about. Yeah, we might have to overlap with the dragons, but that's okay. <laughs> it works perfectly in the corner, which I'm excited about. I've walked around Walmart for too long listening to podcasts 
And I got some snacks, which I'm very ha happy about. My bookish era. Oh, it's gonna go over the spine a little bit. That's okay. If we need to tape it down, we tape it down later. That's <laughs> fine. <sighs> Yay! My bookish era. How cute! And then I have a sticker on the back from a book that my coworker wrote <laughs> and she gave to me. So very fun. What a day. What a haul. Amazingness. I just want to sit for a bit before I do anything else. But because I'm burning up, I should eat something. <laughs> Drink something because I'm very warm. My face feels windburnt, which is apt because it's minus goddamn too much right now. So I do really want to do the scrapbooking thing, but not at the moment, but maybe in a little bit. What a library haul. Holy man. <laughs> Anyways, I'll we'll catch up with you guys later. Guess what? It's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Love that for me. I wanted to pop in and chat because I haven't really chatted most of the day. I've already said happy Saturday because I started this vlog today. Excuse me. In my brain. I'm tired. I do want to pop in and update some stuff because I have not only reading news, but I have finished book reading news and also scrapbooking news. <laughs> so yeah. I finished The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. As I said a little earlier, I had very few feelings about this book from like the first, the 1% to the 50% mark, other than like, wow, this book has so much going on in the world and with these characters and so many different threads and storylines and stuff, but nothing is giving me a clear plot line. And upon like reflection, as I say in my Goodreads review and also my story graph review, fun fact, but your girl is reviewing every book that she's reading this year as best as she can. <laughs> Why? Because I also need to put a place for my thoughts before I write them in here so that I know how much space I need to give <laughs> for my thoughts on books and my reading journal. Anyways, I wrote it all down and in there if you want to go read it. It's on Storygraph and it's on Goodreads. I think having so much going on in this book in the world is going to be good in the end because there's probably a lot of things <laughs> that M.A. Carrick, the two authors in here, because this is co-authored by Marie Brennan and oh gosh, what's the other author's name? Marie Brennan and Alice or Alec helms that the two of them are weaving to really complete and map out this incredibly epic super super high politically driven not even politically driven just like so much is happening so much is weaved through this world's massive story that we're getting with the trilogy i think that the payoff is going to be good in the end but this first book was muddy the first 50 percent of this book muddy I could not tell you the plot of this. I can now because I'm at the end and the retrospect is there. So like, I know what the plot is supposed to be. Was it from the beginning though? It was muddy. Like, I feel like we didn't even have a hook of a story to get us in. We were just dropped in and we were just dropped into the story of where Ren is trying, our main character, is trying to infiltrate herself into this family because she just wants to be safe and she wants her 
chosen sister to also be safe like she wants to set up a life for them she is a con woman and has been for a number of years and she has a very interesting very tragic backstory how she became an orphan and then also became part of this notorious children gang and was like incredibly abused by the leader of this gang and then how she supposedly killed this leader of the gang and then was free and like on the run and whatever and trying to make a life for herself and her sister. So I know that <laughs> coming out the second half of this, but at the beginning, like there wasn't like a clear moment to me at least where that like kicked into gear and like we were starting down the road. It just, we were just there on page one. We were there and we got everything else all at once as well. So it just felt muddy to me and then we hit the 50 percent mark and we were given this acid trip scene that's the best way i can describe it that honestly felt really out of place and resulted in the death of a really significant character for no reason like it felt arbitrary this death it didn't really feel like it moved anything along which i have issues with that moment brought this very tiny tidbit of a mystery plot line that was like way far in the back of the muddiness glaringly to the front and was like this is actually the most important thing that you should have been paying attention to this whole time and, and I'm just sitting here like this wasn't plotted very well <laughs> it was muddy it was muddy and I honestly though like I couldn't tell you how to make it better other than like trimming the fat there was too much happening in here and it wasn't clear enough where we were going what the like motives were what things needed to be done, et cetera, et cetera, in the first 50%. That midpoint hit and I was like, what the fuck? But it also <laughs> triggered me into paying attention and wanting to keep reading. So like, even though it felt really out of place and kind of, you know, resulted in an arbitrary, didn't really do anything to the plot death and this, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, it, it didn't do anything to the plot. It really didn't because what was put into motion after this death with certain characters tied to it, like, that was already in motion before the death. It would have just kept being in motion. Anyways, <laughs> but the second half of this book was a lot better and a lot clearer as to what was going on. And I did really quite enjoy the ending. And it got me, it got me with a reveal at the end. I was sitting doing my journaling and I just had to stop and sit like, like a goldfish, like, you know? for like 30 seconds just being like excuse me it got me with a reveal but and <laughs> it got me enough that I do want to know what happens with the story I do want to know if the payoff is worth it for the muddiness of this first book so I am going to get the second one from the library and I'm going to keep reading I have a bunch of other stuff that I want to read first this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to eventually get my hands on hopefully in February at the latest I'll keep working on this trilogy because I want to be better at like if I start a trilogy or a series of any kind. I want to be better this year at actually like committing to it all the way through if I can of course if the books are out in the world and this is one of them like start so I want to also finish this book this series this year if I do want to continue with it after book two but for book one three and a half stars definitely that like the the second half of this book kicked it from a two star up to that three and a half. So like the second half of the book was definitely very, very good. And I do really enjoy the characters. So we're gonna see where the Rook and the Rose trilogy goes from here. I did enjoy this read though, I should say. Sixth book of the year, done and dusted. And I think Found Your Side is next. I would start it today, but it is almost 2 a.m. And I do have to go to sleep <laughs> because I have to meet my parents tomorrow, drop my car off. It, I do have to meet them at like one, but I don't want to be like rushed tomorrow because Sundays are my favorite day to just do nothing. I'm going to meet my parents to drop off my car at an auto body shop because there's work that needs to be done on it. I'm meeting my parents and I'm taking my mom's car for the week or for at least a couple days, which is nice. Also spent most of my evening after I went out and I did some errands. I went to the, like the library and went to Walmart and got some products and stuff and came back. I spent my evening scrapbooking and I did film a scrapbook with me for the very first like friends spread. 
this one specifically before I wrote like everything in. I filmed a scrapbook with me video for this spread. So I'm gonna edit that and have that up as an extra video this week. But after that, I was like, mm, I don't wanna be done. So then I started making dinner because I was really hungry. It was like 7.30. So I made some dinner, which was divine. Rice, chickpeas, bacon, broccoli and peas, like stir fry vibe. Mm, 10 out of 10, I have so much left over. So like, we love that. And then I came back to this and I did a grad spread, just on my own, which I'm very excited about. Did a little write up in it. And I love the way this one looks. I just, it just makes me happy with all the yellows and bright greens. Definitely love this one. And then I did a like a collage with a bunch of the photos that I had that didn't really have a specific like spread that they could be a part of. Just a bunch of photos. And it ended up at the end of it, I was like, oh, this is very focused on my friends. Just Yelani, SJ, and Sophie. <laughs> so it ended up just being a spread for them. And there was a photo in the middle here at one point, but because it's on the fold, the photo itself, like the crease of it got so messed up that like one of my friend's faces was just like marred entirely. And I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta remove that. So I did. And then I just swapped it for another piece of the yellow paper with a heart in the middle. Cause I think it's cute, but I like this one. And it makes me laugh because like some of the, I went back through my like photos to grab the dates for this collage photo just so I could like add the year on it. Cause I think that would be like for something this busy, I didn't want like actual like write-ups or anything, but just the date alone <laughs> was enough to send me. Cause like we have everything from 2018, just babies to the newest on this page, I think is Pride uh, 2022 here, but everything else is 2018, 2019, mostly 2020. And there's one 2021 uh, photo in there, which I find so funny. But the, yeah, this page just also makes me happy and it's very bright. And I wanted to try a little bit more of like a patchwork style background and pulling some like colors. There was a lot of purples and yellows in the photos themselves. So I was like, well, I guess we're gonna use purples and yellows. <laughs> and I'm actually really proud of the spread. So happy for that. And then last, I did this birthday spread. I was gonna keep like each of these pages for their own like full spread across, but then I realized that like they work pretty well just as like a double spread that works only in my brain. But like I have some old friend birthdays here. So these actually funnily enough ended up being both joint birthdays, which I totally forgot about. Hannah and Sophia's joint birthday in 2019 and Sophie and Yelani's joint birthday also in 2019. Same year, very fun. And then this is one of my birthdays that my friends did for me in a park in 2020. This cake is actually from my 2019 birthday, but I thought it was fun. So I just put it with the spread anyways, <laughs> but I love it. And I ended up finding some old birthday cards that had a bunch of dogs on them. And so I cut out two dogs specifically. I love this little guy with his little cake. I'm obsessed. I really like, really, really like this spread a whole lot. And I'm just genuinely so pleased with how this book is turning out. I, yeah, I'm genuinely so pleased. And then I ended up because I have this like big scrapbook page as I've probably showed you, I don't know. I intended to like skip this spread and just do something like more writing when not gluing a lot of stuff down because I didn't want to like make a page that was going to like be a ton of weight on top of like two pages that are a ton of weight. I wanted to give it a break just to, I don't know, my brain. And I wanted to like transition into like the scrapbooky stuff. So I did this, this spread, which is welcome to the memory journal. It's not super organized, but it's full of love. And then I put like a little banner like started in whenever finished in whenever I end up finishing it and then I was looking through all of the photos that I had and I was like is there anything that doesn't go like just as a one-off photo that I added in and then I remember that I added this photo of Bella which was from the lake and it was the only photo that like didn't go with anything else because I do have a bunch of pictures of my friends with their pets or with animals as a spread idea. Um, but if I do that, I'm gonna need more pictures because I didn't realize that I didn't include a couple of my friend's pets. I'm gonna just need to make, just to do more photos to, and anyways. But I had this one picture of Bella, which is my favorite picture from this Christmas. It's really dark and it's kind of blurry and it's not very good quality, but it's my favorite because she is nose to nose with her teddy bear that she got for Christmas and she fell asleep like that in her bed. 
And it was the only photo in the entire stack that like doesn't go with any other photo. So I put it as like the special memory photo for this page. And I'm very happy with the spread. I think it looks great for however simplistic it is. Anyways, <laughs> that is a scrapbooking update. That's a scrapbooking journey so far. I am so genuinely in love with this. Y'all are never going to, I'm never going to shut up about this, but I've decided I'm going to do kind of like one-off scrapbook with me videos every so often. And then I've decided every quarter I'm going to do a flip through of my reading journal to like update you guys with it as like an actual like flip through video. And I might even save some bits and bobs for that video to do like a journal with me and like the flip through if I need to like glue in some covers or like fill in one last book kind of a thing. I'll do that in the video and then do the flip through. That's the idea. So one every quarter. So there's going to be four of those videos in this year from this. And then every so often I'll do a scrapbook with me video. I did one for the first spread and then I want to do another one for sure for my like writing spread for like the, a second story spread I want to do and a little luck sorry it's for the two of them for the Aramount book spread and the launches I want to do a, a scrapbook with me video for that and depending whenever else I really want to set up and film I'll do it again because <laughs> today I tried to set up and film with my tripod the same way that I did my bullet journaling video that you guys have seen, like my reading journal video, the tripod was not having it today. It was just a really shitty angle. So I ended up putting my phone in my light. It's, like, <laughs> it's got like a little casing at the bottom. I put my phone in my light at a weird angle so that you get like the full aerial view. I have not looked at the footage. I do not know what it looks like. All I know is that I have an over, out, over an hour of footage of me doing that one spread. I hope it looks good. I might have to like adjust the angle in post because I don't know if it's like perfectly straight, but you get a full aerial view and it kind of worked. So that might be the plan for me on out for those videos. I am not a professional in any sense of the word. I have been talking to you guys for a long time but yes book finished amazing scrapbooking I'm so in love with it I'm going to be doing it again tomorrow guaranteed I gotta plan out like what the next spreads I want to do are a little bit more because I feel like I was kind of just like going with the wind kind of a thing but I feel like now I have a lot of like the really early spreads that I wanted to do now we're getting into the specific like there's a couple trips and like lake weekend spreads that I want to do but I do need more photos from one of the lake weekends because I realized I'd only added two in when like a bunch of the other like cabin lake weekends have a whole bunch and I want to do a spread for each one so I got to get more photos for that and then I want to do um more other photos so I'm gonna need to do another photo order which I think is gonna be fine I'm gonna do that with the book covers I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get it from Staples because I also really want to, in here, in this book, I have this these two spreads. I have this one and then the following one, which is just like another blank page. But I have these where I'm gonna do like highlights of 2024. I, I already wanna put like one uh, where I went book shopping with my friend Sophia because that is a highlight of the first half of 2024. And that's why I'm gonna split it like first half on one page, second half on the other page. And I'm not, I'm gonna make them like, really small so that I can pack a lot in on those pages and like also have like a little write-up next to it that's the plan anyways I'm just rambling I'm really enjoying myself with my journaling this year my friends <laughs> I'm really enjoying myself very crafty we love it we love it <laughs> is it taking up time that I could be spending writing Yes, but I was listening to the audiobook of The Mask of Mirrors the entire time, so it wasn't not being productive, and it was taking time for me, so that's being productive no matter what. Be productive for yourself, friends, because you know what? Self-care is productive. Why? Because it's working on you, and you are important. I'm in such a weird mood. I'm gonna go to bed, and I'll chat to you tomorrow for Sunday. <laughs>
Hey friends. <laughs> hey, happy Sunday. Technically Monday. Because it is almost 4 a.m. Welcome to me being <laughs> basically wide awake. I totally forgot to update you today because I ended up doing a number of other vloggy bits. I started the Foundry Side series series video and I have since finished the first book. <laughs> I have many thoughts about this. Like, the high of finishing a book was so rampant and I was enjoying myself so much with this. But like, coming off of it, I need to think on it, I need to sit, and I need to stew in my thinking bits. And I wrote a whole bunch of thoughts down and I need to get my brain wrapped around this bad boy because I have some problems with it. So, <laughs> good to talk about. But for the past little bit, I've just been scrolling on TikTok and YouTube trying to find reviews for this book by creators of color. Every single review for this book is by someone who is white. There's a specific reason for that because our main character in here is a dark-skinned, presumed black girl. She's not ever officially stated as black, but she's just described as having dark skin. And this is written by a white man. And there is a very strong theme of slavery in here and like pulling from the direct experiences of black American slavery with lynching and whipping and plantations and all that kind of stuff. So I am a little wary about that. It just, it just rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm gonna talk about it more in the series series video but I wanted to look up some reviews by people of color to see if I'm just imagining things. It's hard to find any reviews by people of color online. I've been scrolling through Goodreads and it's very difficult to see just from the little thumbnails of the pictures to see if, well, it's easy to see if they're white, but like sometimes people don't even have their face as the image. So like, I don't know. And, but no one's talking about the, the, the slavery of this. I think that is so overshadowed by the world building and the magic that is just awesome. It is so fucking good that people just are forgetting <laughs> that this is a slavery, like a freed enslaved person narrative written by a, a white man. I don't know. It, it kind of rubs me the wrong way, but I'm going to do my, do my due diligence research and see if I can find any reviews. I found a couple, but I'm just going to keep digging. Not now because it's not as far I am. But I finished this today. Did enjoy the reread. Was a great time. That video will be coming at some point. <laughs> as long as I can get through books two and three, is this this fast? It'll be coming at some point. I also did more freaking scrapbooking because of course I did, and I filmed it as well. So there's going to be two journal with me videos going up at some point. I might just like scatter them on my channel in some kind of a way because I don't want to like top end the. <laughs> the craziness. Uh, I don't want to load the beginning of 2024 with old journaling content and stuff because I don't want people to get bored of that. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys are interested in it at all. I know I got a bunch of new subscribers from my reading journal video. So if you're watching from that video, hi. But I don't know if the rest of my subscribers are interested in that. And my viewers are interested in, in that content. So I don't want to overload it, of course. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brain is just just buzzing with thoughts about Foundry Side right now. I just, I, mm, yeah, we're gonna have to sleep on it, percolate the thoughts, talk to the vlog tomorrow, and then move on to the next book to see if it gets any better. But I did really enjoy the book outside of all that, so I really should go to bed because, as I said, almost 4 a.m., so I'll catch you tomorrow for Monday. <laughs> Hello, friends. Happy Monday. I just got in. I am so fucking cold. I am fucking frozen. <laughs> it was too cold outside. I hate it. <laughs> I wanted to pop in and say, hey, I just got home from work. I treated myself to some Wendy's because it is 9.30 at night. There is very little that I want to think about right now. Especially food. And this... I'm just calling my name. Oh, it's so warm. 
surprising. I thought of a burger and I was like, mm, I could go for a burger. So I got one. <laughs> Love that for me already. I am going to hole up on the couch and edit this vlog for y'all now. <sighs> Actually, I think I'm gonna get comfy clothes on first, but hi, happy Monday. Welcome to the end of the vlog. <laughs> I have no new news to give you about reading or anything. I haven't started another book, haven't finished another book. I was just found reside from last night, which I'm still thinking about. <laughs> so what an intriguing book, that one. I, I wonder if anyone, because I did post a TikTok today about it, it and The Mask of Mirrors, and I wonder if anyone's actually watched that TikTok all the way through and has thoughts, because there's a very low percentage of people who actually watch my TikTok and watch it all the way through, because I asked near the end, like, what people think if they've read Foundryside. So, fuck if I know. Anyways, I'm gonna <laughs> sit, but yeah, what a weekend. Did a whole bunch of scrapbooking, read two books. I have yet to run Foundryside through a compile, but you'll find out the rating in the final series, series number six video. But yeah, I have Shortfall with me because I took it to work in case one of my kids didn't come, but all of them came. So I'm gonna start this eventually, maybe tonight, depending if I have enough time to read, but my brain isn't really in the mood for reading right now, so we'll see. And I also want to edit and have that scrapbook with me video up this week, hopefully. So we'll see if you guys are interested in that one. It's, I've already edited like 20% of it or something, and I already really love the way that it's going, so love that, <laughs> so yay. And also, I have a question for any of you who would be interested. I noticed that my YouTube watch hours are going up, which is very good and very exciting because once I hit like 4,000 watch hours in a certain amount of time, I'm eligible for monetization, which would be prime. But when I hit 3,000 watch hours, which I am less than 100 watch hours away from that, I am eligible to open up memberships to people and stuff like that. Would any of you be interested in joining a channel membership? It would be very, very cheap. I wouldn't call, I wouldn't charge you guys anything more than like $2 max. Would you guys be interested in that? Is there any interest in that out there? Because <laughs> I would be down, I think. It's between that and doing a Patreon. And I think the Patreon fees are just too much from what I've heard. And I've always just been waiting to do something like that because I just don't have enough following to really justify doing something like that. But now that I'm kind of hit that watch hour mark, or I'm very close to it. Would you, would, would, is anyone interested in memberships? Should I wait until I get like 2000 people following me or something? Also, what would you guys want to see? <laughs> what would you guys want to see? Like special vlogs or I don't know extra content yeah let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in joining paid membership for me here on this channel i'd be very interested in uh, hearing your thoughts on that because if no one's interested then i just won't do it and i like making content no matter what for you guys so that would be very fun and funny but maybe i do like extended vlogs <laughs> even though my vlogs are already super fucking long as they are but let's just say anyway <laughs> i'm gonna go eat before this gets cold and i will catch you guys in another video very soon stay kind and keep on reading